So my first impression today of visiting the port was uh, is the absolute magnitude of the explosion and the impact. We see it on TV, we see it on social media, but until we see it for ourselves, it's just it's unfathomable to, to see what's actually happened and the impact that it's had on so many people's lives. The Lebanese people have come together to take action, to volunteer, to bring their expertise, their professionalism, all to volunteer in order to jumpstart the recovery, but also with that vision of helping Lebanon, of helping their neighbors, of helping their communities. We saw it with the frontline engineers, a group of engineers who came on their own, organized themselves, engineers, architects, men, women, all bringing their skills in order to help with environmentally way of dealing with the debris management and the waste management. And I think that also really speaks to the way that UNDP is also supporting the volunteers, but also very much supporting the importance of a green recovery and one that's also sustainable. It's clear that the explosion compiled with COVID-19, also building on the economic issues in the country, has really contributed so much to people's vulnerabilities, especially the most vulnerable of the vulnerable. The support that we're giving people through the Bar Association so that they know their rights, but they also have that support in terms of achieving their rights. When we say that UNDP's approach and supporting the early recovery is one of supporting a people-centered approach, of supporting one that's accountable, transparent, and also inclusive,